previously on Stein's Gate. Well, <laughs> actually, I overheard you this afternoon. Say here, you can hear stuff in the window. The window? Come to think of it, if it was open, Dara and I were talking loudly. All right, Daru, now go and hack into the Saren system. Remember, be very sneaky about it. We can't let anybody know. And now back to fucking up history. Hello! The Sneaker B, back with some more Stein's Gate. We last left off, we researched some more about the CERN Corporation and Dara started hacking into them. And I was also out of town for a week. <laughs> but I'm back now. This is, this is, uh, after Beach Nico back. I've come, I've come from the future using my microwave time machine. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay, so, <laughs> as expect, as expected of the picky penguins, you guys were really fucking picky. <laughs> But I'm not, it's, uh, it's okay guys, I'm used to it by this point. But yes, a anyway, you guys left a lot of comments, a lot of feedback from over the few days. And I'll be honest, it was sort of actually, it was almost painful for me. Like, cause I, I would read people and be like, oh, you shouldn't use that voice for this character. It's like, oh, it sounds horrible. And then I'm like, oh shit. Well, it's like, now I'm going to be doing that for like three more videos and I can't do anything to do it, to change it, you know? Cause you know, I do want, I want the best experience uh, for you guys too. Uh, so it's like, okay, well, I guess better late than never. So here's what you guys pretty much told me. Uh, first off, you said the Lukaku should get, you want me to give her a really like a fem an effeminate voice, like a, a girl sounding voice. Now the other one sounded too masculine. Uh, Cause apparently even in the show, they like, they use like an actual girl's voice. So, uh, okay, I can do that. I'll just give him the Fujisaki voice. Cause that's appropriate in so many ways. Um, Let's see. So, when you guys said you think I should get the Moeka, Mo the Fukawa voice? What? First off, I never heard anybody request the Fukawa voice. It's like, I was just like, one of, one of my kind of like dud voices. I always thought my one time voices. Well, you said, well, you th say I should do it for when she's talking normally and then to do like a, like a upbeat, hyper sounding one when she's on the phone. Okay, I could do that. I think the Fukawa voice sort of sounds more like, we're playing and blah, blah, blah. Sure, why not? That. <laughs> I've been mean to whip that out again. Although I guess in, I guess the new Dongo Rip again will be coming out since so I'll be whipping out again then too. Uh, okay, what else? Uh, Ritaro sounded fine. You guys did you like my Dara voice? <laughs> Although some of you said it sounded a little bit like Squidward, which when I thought about, it, I was like, you're right, it kind of does. I was going to try to do like a lower Mushirige voice. For some reason, the lower Mushirige voice just sounds kind of like Squidward. <laughs> Squidward. Oh, some of you guys were you thought uh, Suzuas. Uh, voice was, I don't know, some of you guys were a little mixed on that. It was like, we thought the Ashina voice wasn't quite right. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep the Ashina voice for it. Uh, I know, it, I know it might not be the best voice, and it's kind of what I mean, I thought, I predicted. The problem is, I just don't have that many female voices. Uh, or, you know, it's like, I gotta, I gotta do something to differentiate them. Otherwise, I'm gonna run into the same part, the problem I run into a corpse party where, yeah, hey, Naomi and Ayumi? Is that, Naomi? I think that's right. But yeah, I gave them both they had the, the, the same sounding voice, and I was like, I don't want to do that again. I want to have all sound, you know, relatively different, and unique, and uh, I think the Ashina voice works fairly well, just because she seems relatively laid back, you know. Uh, I, she might, I know she's not southern, probably, but just just kind of gives that sort of laid back feeling. Uh, what else? Um, it's sorry, it's, I, it's so many things. It's like I, it's like four videos worth of feedback, so it's like, oh my god. Uh, uh, oh, uh, CERN, yes, you guys said CERN is a real thing, it, I probably should have known that, being a fucking physics major, but yes, it's a, one of the largest uh, particle physics laboratories in the world, I should have known that, but I didn't, honestly, <laughs> that wasn't one of the things we talked about, we talked about the, you know, practices of physics, but we didn't really talk about, like, here's all these, you know, famous locations or something, so, um, oh, phone, the phone, uh, you guys give me, I have to respond, apparently, I have to respond quickly to text messages or I will miss my chance. And also, apparently, like, for example, I think there was a message from uh, a Ferris that's, uh, was, that I could respond to, but I didn't respond fast enough. Um, also, I think that you said there are also times where I can actually call other characters based on what I'm saying in like a conversation. I can make that ch decision. It's these different choices that affects the ending. So, so I guess choosing to make a call or choosing not to make a call is what decides what ending you're gonna get. Um, some of you guys are like, uh, asking if I want to know how to get the true ending. Uh, not right this moment. I think right now I'm just what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna play through normally, just uh, my own way. Uh, get one ending. I know this game's supposed to be very long, um, so playing through it multiple times 
would be sort of, might be a bit of a, a hassle. The good thing is, I mean, I can't skip over dialogue I've already read. Um, but I, I, I think it's all right. I mean, I, I think I'll skip through, get one ending, uh, and assuming it's, you know, I might get the other ending if it's not too much trouble. It might be too much of a pain, but if not, I'll just go for the true ending then, you know? When that happens, I'll just like use a spoiler-free guide or something. A lot of you guys were also split on Ferris's voice. Some of you thought, the, some of you thought Maya worked fine, the Maya voice worked fine, and other ones that you thought the Psycho voice would work better. I don't know, I mean, I thought that, I didn't think she was really like per generally perverted or anything. That's why I didn't think this, the Psycho voice worked well, but um, I don't know. I, I think again, I think I'm just gonna stick with the Maya voice. Uh, it wasn't overwhelming again. It wasn't people. It, Lukaku was pretty. That was all pretty much unanimous. Uh, the Ferris was a little split, but I think I think Maya works all right. You know, I I don't and I don't. And she doesn't seem quite as perverted. I, I don't know. The second voice for me is just sounds. Oh, it sounds so dirty. Mm, yeah. You know, just kind of like evokes those images in my mind. Yeah. Okay. I think that's about it for right now. I think those those are the main things. So all right. So higher Lukaku voice. And I guess I'll just give the Fukao voice to Moeka when she's talking in person. But then on the phone, I'll give her something exciting. And then the other ones, I think I'm going to keep the same. So hopefully that's all right. Uh, and hopefully that'll be, uh, that'll settle everything. I, I don't know. Well, unless I run into like a whole bunch more com characters. But anyway, back to the fucking game. Uh, uh, what is this jelly man's report? Doros, Doros starts typing once I ask my question, but he soon clicks his tongue. I can't find it in Jack's email. We'll need an account with more privileges. Then we'll save that for next time. Search for something related to my type machines. You know we're not going to find anything, right? After that, Darrow spends about 15 minutes fishing through the Accelerator Division's chief email, chief email, but he doesn't find anything about the time machines. Right, because we, okay, yeah, we hacked in the discern and we got we're in one of their e their employees' emails. Thanks, right, okay. Sorry, it's been, <laughs> it's been a week. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. Words like Accelerator Technical Committee and LHC Project League came up, so I guess we should look for for an ID from there. Maybe then we can get more information. You can look. You can't look it up with your with the ID you have. Daru shakes his head. Well, I guess it's a let's call it a day. By the way, what we just saw was since CERN's biggest server, but I also found a strange database on our. Oh wait, I should check my phone just, just to make sure. Was it, is there anything I, I missed? Oh. Oh, when I was oh, also you guys said I could have called I can call Shining Finger back about the about Daru. Uh, like, can I, actually can I do that now? Maybe. No. Okay, but that that's an example of someone I could have called. Like, oh, I'm keeping harassed by this woman, you know. So if I if I chose I could have chosen then to call her. I see. Okay, so that makes sense. By the way, what we just saw since Berg is CERN's biggest server, but I also found a strange database on the network. Strange how? It was buggy. Buggy. I mean, it was full of full of some code. But the code was gibberish, utterly impossible to code. Thank you very much. Could it be encrypted? Not by any algorithm that I've ever seen. It wouldn't work even work as a program. It just bothers me. Why would they have a database that nobody could ever use? That is strange. I'll see what I can find out. Huh. Daru tries every trick in the book to crack that mystery database. After an hour, the pistons he has, her fingers begin speeding up. And she just slams the keyboard out of frustration. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. You call us a program, dumbass? Go to hell! You people suck! You all suck! I hope you all die! Oh, great. He snapped. He's going crazy. Ah! Ah! Motion Riga Rampage! Ah! <laughs> oh no, his inner Motion Riga is showing. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I think you should stop. Miriam puts out her sewing tools and turns to Dara with a worried look on her face. <laughs> My head is spinning. I can't take it anymore. Uh -huh. ah! 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 <laughs> oh god. This bad door is breaking down. <laughs> and breaking things. Maybe I'm pushing him too far. He's been up two days straight. He's probably at his limit. Nah, I should keep going. <laughs> Here, drink coffee, and I'll do more. More. Go to work. Go rest, Aru. Yeah, I'll do that. First, I'm gonna go masturbate. Even if it isn't a bug, but an actual program, only two guys could make... Who who made it could understand it. I've never seen anything like it. A program unlike anything he's seen. Hmm. At that moment, music burst from my pockets. What the... Fucking ball sack. Oh. 
Oh, also, you guys said it, I think it's pronounced John Teeter, which I knew it was like, it was either Titter or Teeter. So, Teeter. Makes sense. Uh, are you, John Teeter, are you being honest? If everything you wrote is true, then we have a lot to talk about, particularly concerning the IBM's 5100's hidden functionality, which I have not mentioned to anybody yet. I'm a decent surprise that you know about it. However, I have not gone to the year 2000, though it is possible that I may go there later. There are three possible explanations. First, the John Teeter, the John Teeter who appeared in 2000 is my future self. In other words, I go to 2000 later and I write about the things you have told me, but that would cause in the chicken and egg paradox, wouldn't it? Yeah, like what, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? So yeah, okay. S second, you're delusional or making things up. For the sake of serious discussion, let's pet Let's set this possibility aside. That's ridiculous. I never make anything up. Isn't that right, El Sai Kong Guru? That's right. Cause we're Daru, I'm all real. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. Why did I choose that voice for you? I don't know. Why did you? Third, you may have seen something I wrote on a different world line. That would mean ten, ten years ago, you existed on a different world line than the one we're on now. Wait, wait hold on. Wait, wait. Uh, okay, you may have seen something that I wrote on a different world line. Okay, that would mean that 10 years ago you existed on a different world line than the one we're on now. However, that raises another issue. When the world line changes, the entire timeline is reconstructed from the past to the future in order to prevent a paradox from occurring. That was proven in 2036. In other words, it should be impossible for you to retain memories of a previous world line unless you too are time travel, that is. Do you have any idea what that could be the cause? Cause could be. Okay, so it's, the, it's definitely that one. So, the, so I am time traveling, right? I don't know. It is kind of confusing because... If I send a message in the past, if you really think about it, I sent a message to, what, a week or two in the past? And how did that change the John Teeter from before that, though, you know? Because that was from, uh, like, ten years ago, right? From the, the yeah, from the other John Teeter that showed up. So that was from, like, ten years ago. How did my message going two weeks in the past change the path even further into the past, right? That's, that's another thing. Did it, did it go further into the past? I'm like, I don't know, that doesn't make sense to me either. I gulp. A flash runs through my head like an electric shock. Okay. Oh. It's quite a bit of text, but what catches my eye are the first several lines. <laughs> of course, everything is falling into place. <laughs> what, what you talking about? Mary looks at me curiously, but I don't have time to answer. I, I don't have time for your nonsense. I'm frankly assembling pieces in my mind. John Tina, sir, the time machine. These things are all connected. And now I have another piece of the puzzle. I shiver at my own brilliance. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> oh, I think I know how you can read that program. Seriously? How? I aim my phone's camera at the screen, displaying the supposedly bugged data. Take a picture. Attached to it, to a message. Does this code look familiar? It's a, it's a teeter. Ooh. Serious database inside sir. A program unlike anything super super hacker dar has ever seen. It's true, its form is. Mine is correct, John Te John Teeter should know. What? There's no way. Say what you like, we'll know soon enough. Wait for Teeter's reply. Though it's only been a few minutes, it feels like an eternity to me. It's here! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where'd you find that? That's written in a proprietary IBM programming language used prior to 1975. You can only decipher it with an IBM 5100. Hmm. I quickly open the mail. Its contents are enough to raise goosebumps on my entire on a, my entire set of balls. Wah! <laughs> Just I expected. Huh? I was right, Daru. I know where the data comes from. An IBM 5100. A retro PC has a certain special function. In fact, more than for more than 25 years after winter on the market in 1975, nobody knew it save a few IBM uh, engineers. Right, so it's like Suzu I was saying, right? The function, that function was first brought to light by John Teeter who appeared in 2000. Well, after Teeter posted, an actual IBM engineer admitted to the hidden function's existence. Which reminds me, I talked to, yeah, Suzu, Suzu how about this only yesterday? I can also stop IBM's proprietary program language, which was written for IBM, basically become a wife's red. And that's surprising. That's a dead programming language on the cycle with an IBM 5100. What an incredible coincidence. Yeah, fucking hell no. Fuck coincidences. How does she, how does she know that? It's like, I was thinking it might be Moika who's John Teeter, but it's maybe Suzua John Teeter? It's gotta be some, but one of these people, right? 
or like a future version of ourselves or something. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be some kind of fucking banana shit. I know it. Prime example of synchron synchronicity at work. It's almost like an almighty will. It will is pulling the strings. <laughs> no, no, I say. The discovery of us is inevitable from the start, for this is the choice of Steins Gate, the game I'm playing right now. <laughs> Wait, so CERN has an IBM 5100 database? Those machines aren't compatible with any modern software. Why would they do something like that? Answer me this. What is the best way to secure a machine against to external cracking? Ah, uh, I see. Making it fucking indecipherable. The so the only way you could do it... I see. So that... They made sure no one could hack in and have any idea what the hell they're talking about. So unless you have this fucking rare computer. Or, went out rare. Well, make it standalone, of course. Talk when you get on to my intent of, intent of my question. I kind of want to read what their definition of standalone is. I, I mean, I think I know what it means. So I just want to check. A computer that is not connected to any com other computer or network. Okay, yeah. If only IBM 5100s can read it, then I guess that's kind of, that's kind of standalone. Which means a CERN's keeping the most important secrets hidden there. How do you know about that hidden function anyway? It was recorded in my brain's extension index le labor labrorum prohibitorum. <laughs> Tito said it himself ten years ago, but Dora wouldn't believe me if I told him the truth. <laughs> Very original. Original. <laughs> I know Dora's retort. <laughs> oh look, Mayuri looks happy. She's got her little kitty face on. Miri, we have important matters to discuss. Assemble! Hmm, I can hear you fine from here. Miri's sewing. She didn't get up. She didn't get off the couch. It doesn't matter whether you're here or not. This meeting concerns the fate of the future gadget lab laboratory. Nay, the future the fate of mankind. So I want you to feel more secretive, like we're scheming or something. Come on, humor me, please. It's important that we stare closely at the monitor and exchange erratic lines. The answer here right now is too light. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we need some, we need like a demon or something to come in here. Maybe my arms should be possessed again. Ah, get Lukaku. It's all Yari's fault. But you see won't participate in your evil schemes. Well, I can't have everything my way. <laughs> uh, it's okay, Mary. Listen, you two, henceforth, future gadget laboratory shall begin emergency top secret organization operations. This shall be the first stage in our war against the dark powers that manipulate the world from the shadows. Our enemy is CERN, a scientific institute engaged in the most evil research imaginable. <laughs> oh, Green, you're too loud, and I've been up all night. Crap, I guess I'm being, I'm being too loud. <laughs> that kind of ruins the whole secret feeling. <laughs> 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 we shouldn't tell anyone about the secret thing we found. The window's open, too. Sue is down below. I'm sure she can hear everything. Uh, I can! I heard that, too! <laughs> Damn, I should stop thinking out loud <laughs> so often. So I turns out a notch. Understand, the world has no need for two mad scientists. Before they can get ahead of us, we must outwit them. Who are they? You know. The, the, <laughs> um, maybe she doesn't get it at all. Basically, we must obtain the Phantom Retro PC, the IBM 5100, said to be located in Akiba. I make a magnificent declaration, but Dara disrupts his eyes, and Yuri returns to her needlework. <laughs> Aw. Damn it, is there anything you guys react to? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Uncovered a massive conspiracy here! How come you aren't excited? I'm excited! I'll pass on the search. I'm seriously tired. Besides, I want to keep com combing certain server. That's true. Well, you're the only one who can do that, Daru, so I'll leave it to you. So, the IBM 5100 investigation squad should consist of Miri and me. I can't. Miri makes an apologetic face. I have to make costumes. I have work, too. <laughs> So, so, so basically you two are telling me this. The only, I'm the only one with free time. Fine, I'll manage some alone somehow. Seuss has tried to stop me, understood? Are you gonna do something bad again? Nah, he's all talk. I, I need my useless comrades behind us. Try to get out of the lab. For, whatever, fuck you guys. I'm going home. But this is your option. Shut up! I step out into the street. Mainly my little skids to a stop for me. Ah, Jesus Christ! gonna be her, right? Yep. Hi, Akaba! Akaba in tow! Zua gets off her bike and gives me a strange greeting. I want to ask her, are you an American or something? But I'm distracted by her shiny bicycle. Ooh, shiny! <laughs> What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> oh my god! 
It's, it's the same bicycle I was in front of the broad and tube workshop yesterday. It's belong, sir. Wonder how much that set, set her back. I mean, it does look pretty expensive. Pretty nice technique there. Bicycles are fun, aren't they? I've never I never ridden one before coming here. You never ridden a bicycle? Nope. I've ridden motorcycles before though. <laughs> Isn't that backwards? Yeah, really. Weird girl. <laughs> you're weird. Yeah, you're right, I am. What's with that flashy flashy braking there? I think it'd be pretty dangerous if you just did that all through town. Beginners get cocky and get into accidents. You'll see that pattern all the time. If you're going to go at full speed, at least wear a helmet. Go going to work now? Yep. Braun Tube Workshop's shutters are open, but the shop itself never opens till around 11 or 12. I don't know exactly when, it seems to change with Mr. Braun's mood. That's perfect, and there's something we need to talk about. Eh? But I need to get to the shop ready for business! Just what is this crumbly old Braun Tube Workshop need to get ready? <laughs> oh, nothing really, jeez, I just mind a sweat super in front of the shop! A clean size boss gets angry! <laughs> Everything's where it needs to be, he says! So he's paying her not to clean! <laughs> Things wrong with that guy. So hear me out, son of a bitch. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unbreachable! No tell me you playing the face of head on, but that will turn to keep it to a sea of blood here. Return yourself, Kiyama! See now, I literally got this right when I came here, and I can't respond to it. Right? I mean, I, there's always something to highlight. Uh, I gli I got you, but I can't. Uh. Why? What did I? I didn't mean. Is it just some message you can't respond to? Maybe. I, I didn't realize it said unreasonable. Unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Why? <laughs> I think that guy's just deciding. Fuck this. <laughs> so hear me out then. I'm so tired. The words didn't feel like talking. I glare at her. Mm. I'm like, mmm. You would be unwise to anger me. I will use the power of my Dagon Eye and my hard octaves of destruction and this demon arm thing and and other things I made up. It has to be right now. There's not very effective. She doesn't falter at all. Ah, I need to work on that. <laughs> Still maintain my stern expression and nod. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> your bike appeared. Your bike materialized right next to the shop. All right, then go ahead. Sue shrugs her shoulders as she locks her bicycle. Then she turns to me. But keep short, okay? Where is the IBM 5100? No one tell you yet. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, by the way, you, we talked yesterday, sir, sound like you knew. No, I know, I know some, someone who knows. Take me to them. I won't take no of an answer. If you use, I'll show you a living demon hell. I can't. Come on! I mean, said I show you a living demon hell. <laughs> Does that mean anything? Does a demon hell mean anything to anybody? Can't introduce I can't introduce you even if I wanted to. What do you mean? Don't tell me that you're an imaginary. They've been dead for years. Oh. I'm sorry. Nah, it's okay. Anyways, look, I can tell you. I say I'm hoping you can, I'm hoping you can tell me something. So it pats me on the shoulder. Buddy, you think I'm the one who's supposed to cheer her up? <laughs> no, nah, it's okay. You, you'll get him next time, bud. Just then, Mr. Brown opens the door and makes his appearance. Hey, part-timer, it's your only it's only your third day and you're late. Sorry, ball streets were a little crowded this morning. If you're not gonna take this seriously, I can't. I can always give you the boot, you hear? As for you, Kabe, don't go lay don't lay a figure my part-timer. Aren't you the lecherous one here, Mr. Braun? Why you? Just try sit just try saying something like that in front of Nay. I'll murder ya. Gotta keep my honor as a father. Besides, I ain't got no use for a skinny kid like her. <laughs> What was that? Take that back, boss! I got some muscles, and I got boobs under here! <laughs> so it's actually mad now. <laughs> what? You're, you're, you mad? I'm not kidding, I'm warrior! <laughs> ha! What are you talking about? So his burning passion is met, and the manager shocked. I, on the other hand, am impressed. Hmm. On impulse, I take Suzu's hand and grasp it firmly. I like the look in your eyes, you, you part-time warrior. They shine with the radiance of the beast seen, seen in modern men. Never get those eyes of yours. And you shall surely change class from part-time warrior to true warrior. I'm already a warrior! <laughs> but I'm already a big girl! <laughs> Stay little ginger old training, you shall have a place on my side in the field of Ragnarok. You know, I, Ragnarok I've heard like used like for a bunch of different things. What is its actual meaning? And he says the name of the airship in Final Fantasy VIII. And 
Oh, here we go. Northern mythology, the final war of the gods, the twilight, twilight of the gods. Oh, okay. Again, part of my Chunbyu stuff. Chunbyu. Rack, rock. <laughs> Zui looks confused. <laughs> Perfect. What's that? Final battle against Zerg. You got something like that playing? Count me if you do, but I never heard of it. <laughs> Of course, yeah, this is the first time I've ever used it, for I shall be the one to initiate Ragnarok, and the world shall be reborn in my image. Wow, you sure are brave, Cobb and Tarl. You'll probably fail, but I like your spirit. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably gonna die in a big blaze of glory, but I'll be there. The good news is I'll be there to watch it. <laughs> watch my comrades with as spirit as you are. Apparently, Sue has comrades. <laughs> Noted. I'd like her to introduce me. I got, I got comrades. Is he Mr. King? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Shut up, Mr. King! Shut up! Nia! <laughs> no, don't you pull that shit again, you little bastard. That way I can form up my personal army, the Phoenix Crusaders. And we can all dress up and each get our own unique color. We can all shout. We all throw bagels at each other. Wait a minute, who wrote this script? <laughs> Wait a second. Why did she assume I fail? I'll fail at Ragnarok. So I need to steal the fear of Ho Yo and Kyoma to this girl. Yo Ween. Yo Ween. Yo Ween. You guys are super, like, Gung ho about that. Like, You're not pronouncing it right, Nick. It's like, uh, dude, welcome to welcome to the fucking channel, really. I mean, it's just ain't motion reading game, fucking Ashina, right? Come on. <laughs> Trust me, this is pretty normal, guys. All right. <laughs> Why is my sword track nothing but weirdos? Damn. <laughs> I know, seriously. Whatever, part timer, just come inside. Coming. Later, Cobb and Tom. I like her. She's kind of cute and funny. For some reason, I don't know, I hear the girls doing kitty like expressions. They got like the, they have the three of their mouth. Can anyone do that in real life? Can make a three, three with their mouth? I can't do it. That just too, too much, takes too much talent for me. So it waves and winks at me as she heads inside the store. Wait up, Ocarine! Mayura comes downstairs passing Suzua. You want to help me search after all? That's the lab, that's the lab map spirit. Oh no, that's not it. I was just thinking about buying lunch. <laughs> it really is a glutton. It's not even lunch time yet. How are you not fat? So, where do you plan to go? Mm, what to eat? Mary places her finger on her bottom lip as she, in, a, in thought as she walks. Sambo's beef bowl sounds good. This tiny high school girl truly has guts to enter Sambo alone. <laughs> That place isn't like the chain restaurants with their colorful menus and brightly lit interiors. First timers are often crowd cowed by the old school atmosphere. Plus, content tells almost exclusively male, but Mira doesn't care. She just sits there shoulder to shoulder with students and salarymen, smiling as she eats her people. <laughs> mm, <yummy. laughs> Meanwhile, the sand mists, regular Sambo customers, are posting comments online like, The goddess has arrived, or the goddess for the goddess for the win. Ah ha ha! Ah ha! That's so funny. Oh my god! Oh, my Yushi Sama's here! Oh, my God, she touched my shoulder! Oh, Lord, bless! <laughs> I'm so horny, horny for my Yushi Sama, bless! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I ain't sure if you're like my Yushi needs to- Someone needs to give me Yushi to talk, like, she just doesn't- <laughs> I don't know where babies come from. Sabo is open this- uh, Try to warn her, but you Mary is no longer there. She's gone. Like, fucking Batman. <laughs> just turn it. It appears like this every so often. Batman themed. Oh hey! Oh look at the top left. You see those? It looks like a. They look like the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Or fake knockoffs of it. But it's totally, totally different. Each time she does, I wonder if for one terrible second if she really has vanished from the world. <laughs> look around, see Mary staying in. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I didn't get very far. She's gazing up at the sky through the buildings. Here we go again. She stopped in the middle of the street so other pedestrians look at her, wondering what she's doing. <laughs> she's kinda, she just got kind of her head in the clouds all the time, doesn't she? She doesn't notice her stare. She literally reached out to the, to the sky as if entranced. And then she freezes in that position. It's one of Mary's habits. Uh, I call it Stardust Handshake. Oh, right, you mentioned that before, didn't you? Mary says that she likes, she's liked looking at the night sky ever since she was little. The reason is romantic or perhaps childish. Neat. I feel like I reached the stars. Woo! I asked her about it one day, she just smiled and gave that answer. First, she only reached out to the night sky, but lately she's been doing it without regard to the time of day. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> like, like, looks like she's trying to catch a butterfly or something. 
Like now, even when she's walking, talking with someone, something inside her seems to just switch on. Honestly, it's a little fucking crazy. <laughs> but what else is new? Too early for stars, Mayuri. Welcome to Mary and call it to her. She slowly lowers her hand with a blank smile on her face. Do you know, even during the day, the stars are still up there. Getting philosophical is nice and all, but it's dangerous to stop in the middle of the street. Uh, that's true. Oh, just now when I was looking at the stars, I decided to have ramen for lunch today. How are ramen and stars even related? Mayuri's mind works in mysterious ways. <laughs> I know I said I searched for the IBN 5100, but I have no idea where to start. I spent about an hour in a cafe searching for information, but nothing turned up. I buy some mango juice with tapioca from a juice stand inside Yodabashi. Mango juice with tapioca? Oh, like, oh, like separately or together? <laughs> with the mango, with the tapioca in the mango juice, or does he mean he spot mango juice with a thing of tapioca pudding? It's like maybe Japanese people put jap tapioca into their freaking mango juice. Oh my god, that would be really kind of gross sounding. I don't know. Is that good? <laughs> is that a thing? Oh my god, so many, so many questions. <laughs> I lose myself in thought as I drink it. Well, I said I'm drinking it. I didn't say I was eating the tapioca, so it must be. Oh my god. Mm -ah. My mind is raveling from this <laughs> amazing revelation. Saturday, so it's starting to get crowded in front of the station. So it means they're distributing leaflets to the people coming out. Nudar is well acquainted with retro PCs, but is, it, is there anyone else? Anyone else? Oh yeah, Shining Finger was obsessed with IBM 5100, wasn't she? Really lucky to contact that male demon, though. But ultimately, my feelings are trivial. Ragnarok sings the balance. Okay, good. Can I... Now I do it? Uh... Shining Finger. Yes! Now I can do things. No Shining Finger's phone number, so I'll just send her an email for the time being. There you go, Nico. Although it actually seemed like the game was probably going to force me to do it anyway, but... Hello there! Let's finish drinking my juice. I, aim I aimlessly head towards Ch 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 Chuodori. So wait, I just sent her that? That's the... Was that the code? And then comes an email. What the balls? That was fast. Oh, that's the email I've been waiting! Oh, I don't like talking on the phone, so let's exchange emails instead. Uh, uh, oh, got... uh, okay. Wait, she wants it by email? A lot to cover. I'd rather not type it all out. I can find out her phone number. Give me your phone number along with any information you have on IBM 5100. What was that number I sent her earlier? Uh, whatever. And send. I'm sure I'll hear back from her almost instantaneously. I'll well, write my email and see a huge crowd of people in front of Radio Kaiken. I guess this alloy is still a big deal. I mean, your presence, has, presence hasn't died hasn't died down since the day that the crash either. Radio Kaiken is still closed. Yeah, they gotta do anything to clean that up. I mean, damn, they're taking a while. Of course, satellite's still there. Nope, not 30 seconds fast before I get a reply. I knew it. Hey. Uh, oh, God! Right now, as I'm about to look down and read the email, I catch sight of a familiar face in the crowd. Ah! Ah! Well, visit my assistance. What are you doing here? I want to read my mail. I can't do it, though. Hey, when did I become your assistant? It's like she'll snap at me. She'll look like she'll snap at me. So today, I put her spirit, I go back to check my email. <laughs> uh. I don't have anything. How about you? Mm. What is wrong with this woman? <laughs> Wait, what? I asked for her. To send me her phone number. I don't have anything? <laughs> don't tell me her phone number. She just ignored me. Doesn't even have any information. How useless can you be? Why are you glaring at me? Don't worry about it. You're not the cause of my frustration. Oh, so you're just raging? Don't, gl don't glare at me. You've glared at me before, haven't you? It's because you keep doing pervy. Oh, uh, no. I'm not saying anything. Another one? What the fucking ball sack? Tell me some his address. Mm. Do it! I want to stab my phone in half and throw it on the ground. Motherfucker! Huh. What do you mean, tell me to have his address? You making fun of me with that uh, with that little n musical sign? You're not getting away from anything there for me. Anyway, why does she need to be sending two consecutive emails? She might as well just combine them into one. Are the emails are getting really bad and pleasant? They're more unreasonable than unpleasant. I can't describe, I can't describe it in one word. Stop sending me all these fucking short emails! I'm gonna fucking kill you! I mean, I mean, stop sending me short emails. I'm begging you. I'm scattered of thoughts and send everything together. Please. Please. Please do this for me, shining figure. Feel more satisfied just seeing that email. Turn to Greece again. So, Christina, what brings you here? Oh, yeah, by the way, you guys explained apparently Christina is sort of. it. The joke makes more sense uh, in the Japanese dub. It's like her. 
I don't know. It, some of you guys explained it. You guys explained it, but it, it was like something about her tra the translation of her name or something. It means like Chris or something, and it he turned it turns it into Christina, and so it's now become sort of this nickname for her, I guess. But anyway, it, there's there's actually a reason behind why he's calling her that. If you're gonna call me names, could you at least be consistent? Anyway, my business here, business here doesn't concern you. Why are you pouting? Mm, oh, it's so funny, Sad. So I'm gonna kick you in the nuts if you don't shut up. I'm not pouting. I just don't want to get involved in your silly games again. Uh, that's true. I remember she, she like, she was the one who ran out the door when she like freaked out. I was like, Oh my god, a fucking time machine! Nonsense! You're already a lab man. You have duty to work for the benefit of the lab. Well, she's, oh, she is only a temporary member. No, it's because she's a temporary member that we need to get as much of her, out of her as there can be cat. I went lo losing myself to curiosity back then. Here, Carisu sighs and looks back at the satellite. We're not alone. Several people are standing here looking up. Let's keep us at least tourist attraction. Did you come to see the satellite? I guess. It doesn't make sense. Normally they they they, they calculate satellites' orbits so that they burn up in the atmosphere when they fall. So how can they how can that thing be in such perfect condition? And that's not say nothing about the huge hole it's punched in the building. Are satellites that durable? Where's the satellite from, anyway? I still don't know. Permissions from the former Soviet Union, but Russia denies it. So it looks like they can't remove it yet. Oh, I see. So that's why it's been sitting there. Three days have passed and it's still unknown? How interesting. I smell conspiracy. So it's another organization cover-up. They knew I'd be at Rio Kaken and tried to erase me. Organization? What's that? The organization is the organization. Its formal name is something else, but all those who know of its existence call it the organization I fear. It ruled the world from the shadows, transcending nations with the politics, economics, religion, even science within to their clutches. That's obviously a crackpot, crackpot conspiracy theory. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that apparently is a reference to something else. Is it JoJo's Bizarre Adventure again? Oh. This phrase commonly used on the internet as a way of punctuating a statement. It, for, it originates from a story posted on that channel in which a man tries to pass his bodily fluids off as a soft drink. It, it was obviously blank, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Hantu ni iragatu gozaimashita. Thank you, Internet. Thank you very much, Internet. Rizzo hangs her head and blushes for some reason. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. Really nothing. Okay? Say another word and I hate you. Crazy girl. What? <laughs> oh. Oh, was she, th oh, she was thinking about the orig where that originated from or something? <laughs> but the man, <laughs> man pissing and I passed off a soda? Anyway, what what's happened with the phone wave? I thought you wanted to get a, didn't want to get involved. It's not the phone wave, it's the phone wave. Made some change. <laughs> just just answer me if you learned anything. No progress. We tried to repeat the experiment, but at present we have been able to re reproduce the dust art phenomenon or send the female to the past. I see. Motherfucker. What? What's really annoying? Oh, I'm sorry, but I really need information on that. You have to hundred million when I clear. Lead I have right now. I'm alive with you, Kabakun. I swear I want some more short nails, so please, so please don't ban me, please. I need you to help me look for IBM 5200. I promise to let you know as soon as I learn. Hey, thanks, so let's work together, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Fuck. All right. Looks like she's rethinking things. But later, I don't have to worry about any more email assaults. Hello. Keep your phone away when you're talking with someone. Don't be like that. Really, you should praise me, for I have taught a foul nail demon to behave like a civilized human being. Why are you so pompous? <laughs> I'd like to ask you the same thing, Christina. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I like she's just giving up trying to correct him on that. Okay, let's send a reply. Apology accepted. I'm looking forward for looking for an IBM 5100 too. I agree that we should exchange information. I'll let you know when I have something. You don't need to reply to this email. Please. Don't. Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. If I get a reply, I swear to God, I'm gonna break my phone. Are you done with your little mail exchange, yo son? Oh, so you remember my true name. Indeed, I am Yoin Kiyoma. I was being facetious. How is that facetious? You call me by my correct name. You made no mistake. You'll make a, you'll make a good assistant. Kabe-san, have you, have you sought professional help? I am not a Kabe! It's exhausting. So about the phone wave, there's no change. At the exper after the experiment, you scream something like, A time machine? It can't be! And it's like, is something awake in a past drama? No, and don't go making one up either. 
Back when she was five years old, Christine was on the plains of Arkansas with lightning. <laughs> I wasn't hit by the lightning and I was still living in Japan when I was five. Why Arkansas? I was trying to imagine tranquil scenery and the first state that comes to mind was Arkansas. Second was Oregon. Ah, <laughs> uh, beautiful. Yes, the beautiful fields of Arkansas. Not Utah? I mean, relatively speaking, isn't Utah more suitable? Then ask me, Christina, why did you freak out back then? <laughs> the reason? I simply didn't want to believe it. French science should stay in the realm of, fi of, of fiction. French science? Don't be ridiculous. You saw it with your own eyes. You saw the email leap to the past. You saw the banana travel instantly through space. I saw, but, but we miss, must be missing something. Or maybe we're just seeing what we want to see. Remember we, what I said at ATF? The time machine is just a pipe dream given modern technology. Do you have a bunch of amateurs like you just stick a phone and a microwave together and expect the time travel to occur? Ridiculous. But it did occur. Will you deny that you saw with your own eyes? Are you saying that there he's tri Trump reality? Then I hope you enjoy Civic Stream word games because that's all you'll ever have. What do you mean word games? Quantum Theory, for example. If you ask me, theories like that are nothing but word games. Wait, are you rejecting modern physics? Who do you think you are? Trust what you see. The only thing that matters are things that happen, things that don't happen, things that aren't observed as, uh, are just hypotheses. When a hypothesis pile up, theories are verified that become reality. That's how Marfus comes to understand the truth of the universe. But sometimes your hypotheses are mistaken. Even Einstein was wrong about some things. So you're going to do nothing just because you could be wrong. Then you enjoy, enjoy your dirty little lab and your silly gadgets because that's all you'll ever have. You'll never reach the truth that way. Failure teaches success. I see. Nice rebuttal. You're never, getting, you're never getting off your high horse, are you? By the way, Christina, I have always felt that physicists are, hi are hypocrites. What? They're a phenomenon that everyone knows occurs in reality, but which physicists refuse to research. What do you think about that? I don't know what to say unless you can give me some examples. Ghosts, for instance. <laughs> the occult? Really? You refuse to research it just because it's the occult? That contradicts what you just said. You'll never reach the truth that way. <laughs> uh... People have seen ghosts, there's even photographic evidence. So where are the theories? Why do physicists re refuse to speak? It's a different field of study. You can't call physics the study of natural phenomena that decide something things don't count. True, but... And that's why we must investigate the phenomena of sending emails to the past. You shall assist me. No. <laughs> Teresa gives me a clear-cut answer. Along with her usual glare. So the genius girl really does hate me. Oh, whatever. I don't care. What have a hand in your fritz science? I, I won't make the same mistake my father did. Your father? Ah, here we go. Make a fine argument, but it won't work in the scientific community. The day you decide to research time travel is the day you're out of a job. How can you be so certain? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it, it is sort of like... It, the time travel thing is like... it, border, it, it It's modern physics bordering on sci-fi, you know? It's just like... Again, all theories, so... Because this is what happened to my father. Chris, Chris who grips his. My father, a physicist, loved time machines. He was so fascinated by Willis the time machine that he seriously that he seriously studied time travel. But because of his obsession, he was practically exiled from the scientific community. I will never get involved for, with the time travel research. I see. Okay, that's why she kind of freaked out about it. Hmm, maybe John Teeter is her father then or something. <laughs> hmm, again, who could John Teeter be? This time, her sheer force of will gives me pause. Um, I think she's really pissed. <laughs> Damn. I may have stepped on a landmine here. Fuck. What do I do? Get her any angrier, she might seriously hit me. Let her, let her calm, let's calm her down a bit. Yeah, let's do it. But what should I say? I know. How about I rip her shirt open again? That really worked. That worked really well last time. I'm sorry, I got emotional. She apologized first. See, a common character saves me. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Maha, don't worry about it. I want to test your character, so I made you angry on purpose. Huh? Anyway, the fun wave isn't a time machine. You know, it's funny. I, I feel like Retard is really bad at reading situations. Like, that didn't seem to me like she was going to hit him or anything. Wow, she's getting really angry here. I mean, like, but then, but then, like, when he, like, lifts up her shirt or something, he doesn't think then that that's, like, well, you know, cause for her to hit him. You know, it's like, I am all over the fucking place. I... I definitely do not understand normal social graces at all. And with a phone wave, it's in a time machine. Emails are man-made systems, so, so this phenomenon should be explainable in the, in the scope of that system. 
I understand. I had no. I understand. I had no idea you hate time machines that much. It's almost like an allergy. <laughs> Apologize for forcing you to become a lab member. You don't have to come again. I wasn't planning on it. But know this, Christina. Don't call me Christine. Christina. Lab number number 004 will be a retired number. That number is yours forever. I've ended my speech and turned my back to Grisu. I won't look back. I walk slowly with my eyes closed like a dumbass. It's kind of hard to walk like this. I hope I don't bump it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. And I... Oh, you ready to be Yushi? Wait, am I even walking straight? You look ridiculous. <laughs> my shoulders suddenly pulled from behind. I raised myself so I don't fall back. Ah! Wait, what are you doing? You ruined my perfectly staged exit scene. And you call yourself my assistant. No, I don't call myself your assistant. And besides, I still have something to ask you. Damn it, her stubbornness has already returned. I asked you about this before, but you got but you said I got stabbed, right? I demand an explanation. Ah, yes, the other real-life phenomenon that has yet to be explained. That was just like I hallucinated. Let's just leave it at that for now. <laughs> Why would you dream about me? I don't know. It wasn't a dream. It was a hallucination. You said something about Dr. Nakabashi, didn't, didn't you? Dr. Nakabashi held a time machine presentation at Regio Kaiken that day. The presentation was canceled because of the satellite crash. So it seems. But in my hallucination, the presentation proceeded as planned. Yuri and I went to see it, and you came over to flirt with me. You were like... You were grabbing my ass and slapping me in the balls, and I was just like, wow, this girl's crazy, and then, wow. <laughs> and then she knocks him out. No flirt, especially not with idiots like you. Like I said, it wasn't real, okay? No, maybe this world isn't what, maybe this world isn't what, is what isn't real. That'll explain the riddle of the phone wave, name so to change. This world is some kind of simulation, then we can disregard the laws of physics. Escapism? That's unexpectedly chicken of you. Chicken of you. <laughs> it's a hypothesis. Your favorite thing. So who stabbed me? Don't tell me it was you. Recall the sight of Carissa collapsed in a puddle of blood. It should shiver right down on my balls. Was that really just a hallucination? It was too real. I can clearly remember the smell of blood. You were already dead when I got there. I didn't see who did it. I don't get it. What? Why, why do I have to die in your mind? You're saying against me? Of course not. At that point in time, we'd only speak at once. We were just strangers. Well, that one time was we talked or was during the events, I imagine. So, strictly speaking, at that point in time, all I knew about her was that is what I'd re read in the magazine. Anyway, we don't know each other. We didn't know each other. That's why I ran away instead of calling for an ambulance. My hero. <laughs> I left you to die in a painful death. Why? You wanted to go back in time and give you CPR or something? I need to use the phone wave and somebody change for that. <laughs> I've heard enough. No more listening about me, okay? Dying isn't dying isn't fun. Even if it's in someone else's mind. I can't make any guarantees. That would require a perfect 24 hours of inside my brain. You have come back for everything, don't you? <laughs> Either shakes her head in exasperation, and then turns and walks off towards the station. Looks like she wants to end her conversation. In her last time, I grab Creasy's shoulder, shoulder, slender shoulder from behind. God, what now? I'm not done talking. <laughs> you trying to pick a fight? I'm gonna. Oh, fuck you up, dude! It's revenge for ruining my, far my farewell scene, Christina. You shall regret your false actions. Okay, okay, fine. What is it? About the IBM 5100. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. If you don't know, then forget about it. Farewell, we will not meet again. I turn my back to Grace, this time I'll make a perfect. Fuck my balls! Hey, don't tell me you'd forget about it! She crashed my arm. Damn it, this is the second time! God damn it! <laughs> It was so perfect! The lighting was right on my face! It was amazing! What is the IBM? IBM 5? Whatever. Yeah. Then IBM 5100. It's a retro BC from 1975. I'm looking for one. Yeah, and what are you gonna do with it? Looks like she's interested. She's the same way when she came to the lab. Because this girl's just brimming with curiosity. Interested? Krisu quickly covers her eyes. She doesn't let go of my arm. You're interested, aren't you? Just a little. And I shall answer. The IBM 5100 is the key to unlocking CERN's most closely guarded secrets. CERN? Y you mean the CERN? Indeed. Through the tireless effort of my faithful admins, we have uncovered evidence that CERN is researching time travel. Come, be astonished. Show me your astonished face. That's not it. Great, I should have asked. Risa gives me a cold glare and then lets go and starts walking away. This time she's gone for good. Damn you! Fuck! <laughs> I was supposed to do that! 
Just you watch. I will expose certain secrets if it's the last thing I do. And na 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 boo boo stick head and doo doo. Bye bye. Sweet, they've got uh, what in the hell are some of these things on the side? Keychains and uh, pins. Is that syringes? What in the hell? And a big oh, it's a flashlight. Next day, I decided to hit Akiba. So wait, check my phone real quick. Anything? 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 No. Okay. Just in case, I'm not. Gonna, I'm not missing out this time. Not missing out anything. I decided to hit Akiba's computer parts store. I did as much as I could yesterday after partying with Karisu, but no luck. Finding out BF5100 is obviously going to be a huge pain in my balls. I'm staying in the narrow tunnel that runs on beside Radio Kaiken building. Shop, small shops selling everything from motherboards to, resist, to resistors to vacuum to vacuum tubes lined both sides of the tunnel. Here lie the vestiges of the old electric town to keep us conscious, so to speak. Casual Taku usually avoids stores like these. It's like a holy land that only true fan, fanatics can enter. Not that I'm an expert on computer parts. Furthermore, these shops only sell parts, so it's actually kind of silly to be searching for a whole PC here. Still, something about the sight of all these electronics is my blood pumping. I have to hide my ex excitement to maintain my dignity. Store storekeeper yells, Hey kid, you're only 10 years too young for this stuff, and I'll have no choice but to run. <laughs> what are you doing here, you little shit? Get out of here, you're too young for this. You don't understand the true meaning of this stuff. I actually don't know what it is either. Fortunately, no one's yelling at me yet. In fact, the storekeeper seems to be ignoring me. That might, must be more open-minded than I thought. Or maybe they just don't care. <laughs> and search, I search each store in turn, but turn up neither hide nor hair of an IBM 5100. Free. All right, the ring of my phone draws sharper from the nearest store. Keeper. Oh my god. Ah! Ah! I gotta go! Look! It's me. What's up? Okay, that sound was optional, right? I could have... And call, and I can't... I, so that was probably a call I could have ignored if I wanted to. <laughs> oh look, I see Miyushi, and she's on video phone. Yay! The future's awesome. <laughs> I thought I told you not to contact me on this line. It could be tapped. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm telling you not to be so careless, and anyway, give me a stir and give me a sit rep. Um, Okuri, Miyushi doesn't know what that means. <laughs> I'm asking why you're calling. <laughs> why didn't you just say that? Um, what are you doing now? Executing the mission. Executing the missus? <laughs> the mission! I'm looking for an IBM 5100! Uh, well, why did you say so? You usually heard something amazing just now. Wanna hear? It's valuable information, then by all means. Oh, then come to me, Queen. I'll be waiting! Hey, tell me over the phone! Hey, Miyuri! I have to go all the way to May Queen. Complain, but it's less than 10 minute walk. Whatever. I'm at lunch, so I guess I'll eat while I'm there. I mean, was that, was that optional? I'm wondering now if I, if I hadn't picked that up, would I have stayed there then and not gone to this? Maybe that's like one of the choices. I, I don't know. Uh, as Hanrin Sasa May Queen says, "Today's today's the fairest cup, nya." Day first for cup, nya. Trying to figure out what that means. <laughs> oh, green. Mary trots up to me in her full May regalia. She has a convenience store bag in her hand. Nee. Hey, Mary. Hey, kitty, Mary. Yeah, she went to the convenience store during lunch break. Maybe she takes out. Her pocket watch, pocket each, checks the time. <laughs> Buggity! That was only five minutes left. Mary squats next to the stairs. Good work. So what was that amazing thing you heard? For that food. She takes some fried chicken out of the kiwi's bag as she speaks. Mmm. Chicken! The aroma of chicken stirs my appetite. Mmm. Let me have one. Okay. She skewers a piece of chicken on a toothpick and holds it up for me. Here you go. Who the boss? Oh. Oh, hey! It's, oh, he's, he's called her part-time warrior. That's funny. That's secret. What do you, where do you think? If you get it right, I'll tell you anywhere. I'll tell you anywhere. Anywhere reachable by back that bicycle is. Take a guess. By the way, no hints. Uh, what? That's a secret? Where do you, where do you think? What's the secret? I can't respond to it. I don't know what you're talking about. You can't do that in front of the store. You're supposed to be a maid. So? Hey, you're not Shina Miyuri, but Miyushi Nyanyan. You can't say ah in front of the store. Your customers are going to see that as an act of betrayal. Oh, Miyushi didn't think of that. That said, I take the chicken off the toothpicky hand by hand and throw it into my mouth. Mmm, delicious. Not as good as juicy chicken number one, though. Well, what was that amazing thing you heard? Oh, right. Actually, it's about the IPM 5100. You found a lead? Of course, it was that me, Queen. I can't believe I missed it. Of course. 
That's the most logical thing it would be. They'd have an old computer at a fucking maid cat cafe. No, it's not that. That's silly. <laughs> Damn, don't get my hopes up like that. Mira has tried to look on her face, but I don't see where this is going, going at all. I she was sick, uh, was sick of that I'd be in 5100 during work, so I asked the other girls if they knew anything. First I asked Monkey Chan, but Monkey Chan says she's not good with computers. And then there's Lisa Lisa Chan, but she only knows about the latest PCs, and she's actually a, ma a, a backhead. Ah, ha, ha. Like an apple, right? Yeah. Let's get, let's get to the point. I don't really care about how much trouble you went through. <laughs> um, um, well, I think Ferris Chan knows. <laughs> I knew it. What? Is that true? Yep. Did you know she's a retro PC maniac? Ferris? That girl is seriously hardcore. Per stay away from her if possible. <laughs> but I'm really desperate for information. Take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. Looks like we're gonna light lead on the IMB 5100. Are you ready for it? Ready for this? It's Ferris Nyan Nyan. That's right. Ferris Nyan Nyan. Nyan Nyan. Nyan Nyan Nyan. <laughs> Turns out that cat girl is an expert on retro PCs. There's probably another side to this. Just keep our eyes peeled. Huff, I suppose I'm the only man for the job. Very well, I'll make the approach. If you don't hear from me by 2,000 hours tonight, then forget about me and commence the strike on May Queen. Everything is a choice of side gates, Elsai Kongru. Now, I must do what needs to be done. I put away my phone and grab another piece of chicken and look up at my May Queen's window. Oh, I didn't see you have two. <laughs> oh. Well done, Mary. I see that your information is put to good use. Oh, no. My chicken. Oh, no. <laughs> uh. uh. <laughs> oh, Gareed! Uh, Ritari, you're so mean to my area. Don't stop stealing her chicken. <laughs> stop stealing her bananas and her chicken. It makes her sad, then it makes me sad. By the way, what's this Ferris cup about? My chicken. Mary <laughs> is stuffing the remaining chicken in her mouth as fast as she can. There are tears in her mouth. <laughs> oh, I will let you take this chicken. I will let you take it. Come on, it was just two. Well, whatever. I'm uneasy about the lack of intel, but the mission must go on. Wait, wait, hear me, Harry. If I don't return within the hour, go home immediately, understood. I can't, I have to work. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, let's leave Miori to our chicken and begin the approach. <laughs> Welcome, Master. <laughs> Welcome, Mia. I heard the cafe, it's fully occupied. I'm like, it's, oh, it's fully occupied, unlike usual. Really? Because I don't see anybody in the background. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah! Is Kiyoma, is Kiyoma gonna join too? Today's Ferris Cup, yeah! It looks like she plans to explain what that is. <laughs> Take my phone again. It's me. Run a search on the Ferris Cup. What? A battle to the death where the winner gets to use Ferris, Ferris however he pleases? <laughs> ha! <laughs> looks like I stepped into one hall. Hell, hell of a mess. Nope. No, there's no problem. I'll survive. By any means necessary, else I come group. I <laughs> want my phone to turn to Ferris. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? <laughs> Ferris Cup is a battle royale, is it? No, Nia, it's a cat. It's a catty cat battle royale where the winner gets to make Ferris a slave, Nia. <laughs> she just fucking goes with it. Oh, no, you can't. You can't call each other's throats over Ferris, Nia. Please stop, Nia. Please stop. Uh, make me your slave, Nia. Ferris starts crying and wiggling her body seductively. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, what, man? Well, maybe she is. Maybe a psycho voice would be good for you. Oh, don't do that. Oh. No, Nia, it's a catty cat battle royale with the winner is to make Nia Ferris a slave, Nia. Oh, no, you can't. Get clawed your stores of Ferris, Nia. Please stop, Nia. Okay, I take it back. I take it back. I, she, <laughs> Ferris is a little raunchier than I thought she was. So maybe the psycho voice would work for her. Okay, switching to psycho voice. <laughs> I, hate switching, I hate switching a voice so, like, well into a game, but whatever. <laughs> that shit happens. You know what? Okay, starts crying, wriggling her body seductively. Okay, let's just go with the psycho voice then. That's some pretty good acting, but of course, no one here is killing anyone. Kiyoma, please, please, Nia, stop them. Don't worry, there's nothing, no one to stop me, for me to stop. Everyone's sitting here silently in their seats. Unless the atmosphere is different, here is different. I sense bloodlust in the air. No, seriously, what's the Ferris Cup? <laughs> A part of contest for Ferris, Nia. Ferris goes at it with everyone at the same, same time, yeah. A war goes to Ferris, to, to those fer Ferris finds worthy, yeah. <laughs> goes at it with everyone at the same time, yeah. That uh, you, you might want to rephrase that. Go up and look at Ferris hard. <laughs> Ferris, are you serious? Going at it with all these men at the same time? Is she fucking insane? 
Mm, yeah. Somehow I imagine someone wrote a hentai about that already. But <laughs> Ferris grit. Mm. A thing like <laughs> a thing like tooth peeks out from her glistening red lips. Wow, you really go all in, aren't you? <laughs> if you don't do something, Ferris is gonna become everyone's plaything, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, damn, she really. I think she, she really does have the hots for retard, doesn't she? Ferris approaches me. Her slender fingers touch my arm, and then my balls. Her crest gives me goosebumps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, must resist, must ma B -b 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 boner <laughs> Say, Ferris is fair, Kiyama. Can't take my eyes off her. I've been entranced. This girl has the power to bend men to her will. I must resist. I refuse! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah? I shake her paws off. Phew, that was close. She has one hell of an evil eye. Barely escaped enticement, and only because I am the insane mad side is going go. I didn't come to fight. I only came, came, came to talk to you. Ooh, if you're not gonna go to play them, sorry, but I'll have to ask you to leave, ya. What's this? A maid sending a customer away? Ferris, the organ, no, the the fair, the Ferris cup today. Oh, Christmas are loud instead of shouting, ya. I only need two minutes. The IBN. Now listening, ya. Ferris put her hands over her ears. Her real cat ears, not not her real ears, not the cat ears. <laughs> And then she laughs mis mischievously. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> if you wanted to talk to Ferris, you had no choice but to join the Ferris Company, yeah. Now that's just low. Am I going to have to do it with you two then? Yep, with all these other guys, all at the same time. Doesn't that sound amazing? Well, <laughs> they're all girls and I would be alright, but I'm, I don't know. So what'll be, Mia? You can't survive unless you fight with your own pure as Use any method to information. That's my current mission. I have to do it, no matter what lies ahead. No choice. I accept your challenge, but on one condition. Ah. I throw some finger at the tip of Ferris's nose. Ah. If I face you, you will tell me everything you know. Yeah, yeah, well, fine by me, Nya. Well then, Master, this way, Nya, Nya. She sticks a name tag onto my chest. Number 28 is written on it with round, girly numbers. Ferris and Ferris will lead me back to the cafe and finally learn what the customers are doing. They're all beating each other off. And also Lukaku's here. I'm sorry, whenever I talk to you, I realize just how far, far I still have to go. Maybe it's because I'm still a minor, but that's no excuse. I need to learn to be self-reliant. If I if I depend on you too much again, the police school me. Uh, P.S. I need 20 practice rooms and some of there. I feel like I'm getting a little stronger. But I just can't do anything without you, kami son Please teach me a kami son Oh my god, stop. No, stop. Stop it, penis. Stop it. No. <laughs> it starts punching yourself in the balls. No, stop it. 20 practices. You can be self reliant or 20. In spite of that one. Fool, 20 is nothing. Do 100 swings and we'll talk. <laughs> but. But put a copy, son. Copy, son. Oh, my penis is confused. I cautiously let Ferris lead me back to the cafe and let learn what the customers are doing. There was a roast some kind of card game. Now I remember. The other day, Ferris said that she was doing a Rynet Access, Access Battlers tournament. That's the Ferris Cup. When you get to eat Ferris' home cookie or something like that. So it's not some crazy sex orgy like I was envisioning in my mind and all those hentai I wrote. Shh, looks like Ferris tricked me. I already have my pants on zip too. Save me, she said. Nah, she said. <laughs> I knew she was not to be trifled with. Ah ha ha! Huh? Why are you here? You don't do Rynet. <laughs> what are you doing here, dude? You're gonna. <laughs> I was totally about to hook up with Ferris! You fucked this up, dude! Fuck stuff for me, Ritar! What, Taru? What are you doing here? What about Sir? Let me rest for one day, man. You sure mean better after two executive all-nighters. Sir's power goes stronger as my day, by the day, and here you are without a care in the world, beating off to Ferris and all the other weird cat people here. You're here too. I came here for an unrelated matter and got dragged into this nonsense. I'm not interested in right at Ferris' home cooking. Saying those words leave my lips. I feel like everyone in the store is glaring at me. <laughs> he said, what did he say about right? About Ferris, John? Ferris Chan is my. I love Ferris Chan so much. I would kill for Ferris Chan. Ferris Chan. Okay, this is a bad place to be right now. They want my blood. Come to think of it, the Ferris Cup was organized by Ferris, so it makes sense that only Ferris fans would participate. In other words, in other words, I'm the away team. <laughs> Shh, I'm surrounded by enemies. But this is something I must do. It's just one more step on my road to the IBM 5100. Get information using any means necessary. That mission of mine is next to Daru and softly whispered him. 
Dollar Operation Horny Sigma. We'll <laughs> go Horny Sigma. What's that? I'm saying we should cooperate. We'll be the strongest team. We, if we as strong as we team up, right? More like you're gonna drag me down. You're a noob at this game, Ocarine. You're my right-hand man. As long as we're together, we have nothing to fear. Daru flashes his white teeth in a grin. <laughs> but I refuse. I'm in this thing to win. I'm here to do... I'm gonna do Ferris by the end of this. You can't stop me! Can you call yourself my friend? In this tournament, we're enemies. I will kill you if I have to. If it means I satisfy Ferris, John, I would fucking murder you with my bare hands. I will rip out your entrails and play jump rope with it. You traitor! Why do you think I would send you to this cafe as a spy? But you didn't send me. I'm Ferris Chan's biggest fan. I check her blog every day and... Suddenly the cafe sliced dim. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. The song starts playing. What the balls is that? Somewhat solid melody with sexy, powerful female vocals. Is that Vocaloid? <laughs> Asune Miki Miku, is that you? I've heard this song a lot recently. Pretty sure it's a theme song to ride at Kekuru. <laughs> Oh. Hi everyone, thanks for thanks for waiting, yeah. The afternoon Ferris Cup is begin but it's beginning, yeah. Ferris Fears in the Spotlight, the previously peaceful audience is instantly explodes in excitement. Oh my god! Shut up! Everybody, shut up! They don't stop! They just don't stop! They just keep going! Fuck! Fairies and na na na! Fairies and na na na! Now stands their shouts and use them with a fist raised skyward. With their penises pointed skyward. Thank you, now! Oh, thank god! Oh! Fairies and na na na! Like they're saying na na na! Na na na! Na na na! Paris responds to the shouts of joy with a wave of her hand and it clears her throat. The rule, the rules are simple. Ferris will face off against each one of you, nya. Ferris will even go paw to paw with ten people at once, yeah. Mm. Ah. Uh. To be fair, you'll get your home cooking as a reward, nya. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now then, everyone enjoy the contest. Lots are drawn to determine. Lots are drawn to determine the order we face Ferris. Exactly, there are eight participants, including me. Ferris will face ten people at the same time, so he divides us into three rounds. I'm in the third round. <laughs> ah, strong Ferris is strong. Darwin Professor Robinson was insta-killed by Ferris. You suck. You fucking suck. Oh my god! Ferris Chaplin is very! Uh, no mercy, <laughs> oh, oh my god! And he sticks up he sticks, she sticks some fucking clack calls right through his face. He's like, ah, la, 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 la. Mm, ah, fish and loves the taste of your blood, yeah. <laughs> So, like sucks it up and he's like M -M 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 one hit KO double kill triple kill godlike blah <laughs> how weak and he said I was going to be the burden you suck no me first is just too fucking demon powerful right like access battles is similar to chess there's a special board where you can beat using spaces arranged in rows am I actually gonna play this or the rules are fairly complicated but basically the point of the game is gear pieces into the enemy camp whoever gets the most pieces into the enemy camp wins Ferris playing against ten people at once. She moves from table to table in a circle, taking one move at each t at each before proceeding to the next. Wow. In in Go, Shogi, and Chess, this is called a simultaneous ex exhibition. High level players hold them to demonstrate their skill. And Ferris does indeed seem to be highly skilled, just as Daru said. All ten of the first round participants are annihilated within fifteen minutes. Yeah, I hope the next group chat tries a little harder, yeah. Damn you, Ferris! Don't get cocky. Don't get penisy. Leaning against the wall and suddenly watch the, the round two matches. All right, guys. Well, whoops. I think I'm going to end it here for now. <laughs> right before we get down to the nitty gritty of. Uh, no, right before Rintari's to face off with Ferris. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> I'm also wondering, is she going to like throw the game just so he can win? Because she seems to have a, the hots for him. I'm th thinking that might end up happening. Or I, I can't imagine I'm actually going to play it. But, uh, anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you guys did, please leave a like. It really does help me out. Um, and subscribe now, become Piggy Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny, and the fits are always funny. And so next time, guys, stay classy!